This picture now dis displays multi-inverter uh, configuration. It's mounted very, very effectively. And what we would like to show in this particular one is the symmetry of the DC side and AC side around the inverter itself. We see three inverters. Next to them, on the upper side, we see three DC breakers. And we can see pipes going up from the breakers. They're actually coming from the array on the roof. This configuration, this installation, is on a wall behind the roof that has PV array up there. So lines coming from the roof, going to DC breakers, it goes to the main bus, the main electrical tunnel, we call it, protecting each of the inverters. And on the bottom side of the bus, we see three AC breakers. So each inverter has a DC breaker right next to it and an AC breaker right next to it. The distances are centimeters. That's because, like we said before, that system, the distance between the PV array and the inverter is longer than 10 meters. So we have a DC switch right on the inverter. We have one up there in the roof, right next to the array. But we have here, right on a, next to the inverter. And again, AC right after the inverter. Don't let these over voltages and high frequency voltages go to the AC lines. All of these three, they go to a PV sub panel combiner on the bottom left corner of the picture. All of this goes to a PV AC system that connect to disconnect the entire PV system from the grid. So not only that each and every inverter has its own AC disconnect switch, at the end, after we combine all the AC together, we have a common AC switch and then it goes out to the grid.